Welcome to a virtual tour of the Atlantic Wildfowl Heritage Museum. Thank you for joining us. We invite you to come in person and have an experience of the coolest place in Virginia Beach. Housed in the oldest structure on Virginia Beach's beautiful oceanfront, our museum calls the DeWitt Cottage home. The edifice was built in 1895 by B.P. Holland as a wedding gift for his new bride. The property was purchased in 1909 by Cornelius DeWitt of Norfolk, Virginia, and became the family's permanent residence for nearly 80 years. The DeWitt family, already large in 1909, grew to 10 children by 1913. This museum was opened in 1995. In our introductory area, visitors will see decoys, a wall with photographs of early 20th century wildfowl hunting, as well as a map of the Atlantic Flyway with its convergence in the Hampton Roads region. There is an explanation of diving and dabbling ducks and a tableau of the fragile environment of Back Bay. Our primary focus is on the watersheds known as Back Bay in very southeastern Virginia and Currituck Sound in very northeastern North Carolina. At the entrance to our carving room, there is a brief history of decoy making in North America, which goes back nearly 1,000 years. We also have a display of decoys made by members of the museum's sponsoring organization, the Back Bay Wildfowl Guild. We're privileged to have volunteer carvers here every day the museum is open. The majority of our visitors enjoy the conversations with our carvers and learn much from them. Here is a display of the tools used by early carvers and in the back is what many carving shacks used to look like. Might not look organized, but you can be sure. Those carvers knew where their stuff was. The workbench here came from the Holland Marsh Club, named for the guy who built the building in which it is now used. There are also displays of the decoy making process. The setting of the main gallery is meant to evoke the club room to where gentlemen wildfowlers would end their day with stories of their hunting and nature observations over the course of the day. Many were embellished, but all were interesting. The antique decoys on exhibit were all made by Back Bay and Currituck Sound carvers and used by hunters in the region. All of these decoys were loaned to us for the year by Mr. and Mrs. Mark Cromwell of Virginia Beach and Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. The contemporary collection is on loan from Mr. and Mrs. Doug Fuller of Chesapeake, Virginia, and were all carved by the late Mr. Lynn Forehand, who was an award-winning decorative carver. All of the ones on display are from Mr. Forehand's later years. The pelican on display was carved by a 78-year-old woman named Virginia Seinhoff who taught us that it's never too late to learn something new. The turkey and fox tableau were carved by Mr. Bob Morrison of Harrisonburg, Virginia and on loan to us from Mr. Larry Lambert. Our gift shop is unique at the oceanfront in Virginia Beach. We don't sell trinkets or junk. All of our merchandise is of excellent quality, and most all of it is made in the USA. Of course, we have carvings for sale, decorative wildfowl carvings, decoys, miniatures, and even walking sticks. We also carry a number of books relating to decoys, carving, local history and lore, bird watching, and children's books. We have something for every taste, including jewelry and decorative boxes, leather purses, night lights, note cards, photography, art prints, 
And of course, the very noticeable bird cuts. Upstairs contains some more treasures. The Edgar T. Brown Virginia Beach Yesterday Gallery is a photographic view into the local history of the early 20th century. With displays of recreation, places of worship, transportation, accommodations, and memorabilia from the 1920s through the early 1960s. In this gallery, we also have displays of various hunt clubs. There were at least 50 of these clubs which dotted the shore and marsh lines of Back Bay and Currituck Sound prior to the openings of the Back Bay and Mackey Island National Wildlife Refuges and Virginia's False Cape State Park. The upstairs hallway is dedicated to the DeWitt family. At the second floor landing, most visitors notice the 13 foot 3 inch handcrafted surfboard constructed by the youngest DeWitt son, Peter. With this artifact are various photos of the DeWitt family over the years. The last room on the second floor is the art gallery. As in the main gallery, all of the artwork on the walls was created by Lou Schifferl a prolific wildlife artist. Paint, carvings, and pen and ink. Mr. Tommy O'Connor of Capeville, Virginia graciously loaned all this artwork to us for the year ending in May of 2015. Our exhibits will be changing in May. So if you're in town before then, come and see us. And when you come back, you're invited to come and see the new exhibits. Thanks for watching. And no, you are welcome when our open sign is hanging. We'll see you soon.